Trinity University has reclassified a bureaucratic arts sciences university by the Carnegie Institution. Trinity was originally classified as a master university in the 1970s, when it had 50 to 20 master's programs available. However, the university has shifted over time to a more undergraduate-focused academic program. This will allow Trinity to be ranked with similar schools on a national level and hopefully attract more applicants from outside of Texas. While this is a big change for the university itself, current students will not experience any shifts in their daily lives or class curriculums. The San Antonio Symphony has been on strike for the last five months, and Trinity professors are feeling the effects. There are currently five faculty members that teach for the university and play for the symphony that have been struggling to find lessons or even move to different towns. The San Antonio Symphony Board has attempted to reduce the number of full-time musicians from 72 to 46, cutting benefits for the remaining part-time 26 players. The musicians of the symphony are holding ongoing concerts and strikes across town in different venues if you have interest in supporting them. Thanks to some information from CNN, drinking coffee may do your heart some good. According to research published Thursday, having two or three cups of coffee per day appears to lower a person's ch chance of falling victim to heart disease and heart failure. The findings were based on data from UK Biobank, which included information on more than half a million people during a 10-year period. Researchers say they're not sure if caffeine is the main factor for the apparent health benefits, saying there are numerous other compounds in coffee that could play a role. 